Right, so we are back for more onboarding breakdowns. Um, I've been eyeballing Linear for a while, and I had some frustrating experiences with Jira, which is what I use in my day job for um, project managing, development management. Um, it was permissions, believe it or not. And uh, so I decided this afternoon I was gonna take a break and walk through the new user onboarding process in Linear. So this is, we'll look at the marketing site real quick. Um, Pretty uh, sleek platform for tracking progress in development, uh, mostly positioned for product teams. You can see in some of the screenshots, it's laid out a little bit differently than Jira, which is fantastic. It has some interesting visualizations, uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you have like the superhuman effect for email happening within project management, which is wonderful because uh, project managers love to and product managers for that matter, love to be able to move quickly and not have to do a bunch of tedious processes. So let's take a look. Let's go to pricing and they have a free for everyone. So we can get started and see how it goes. Um, I do really like the design system. Like they, they uh, stuck with kind of that dark theme. They integrate their colors in there. Obviously this is a Google screen, but um, it's one of my email accounts. So let's see. Well, it's nice to build in at the get-go. Oh, and it found, oh, here's my email. So it looked at the domain and the email, it found that I own it, so it'll automatically say, maybe it's tied to Google specifically, but um, it'll let anybody from my email join if I send them an invite, which is kind of a nice setup thing that usually takes a little bit of work. So that's, uh, for me, building with a team, that's a really like, nice touch to get them in here and get them working quickly. Software development cycles and bug fixes. All right, let's stick with their dark look. Ooh, I love command menus. I don't know why I love them so much, but um, it just saves you from having to go through different navigation options and things like that. You can just open it and do what you need to do. Look at that. And all the keyboard controls work, so I haven't had to use my trackpad hardly at all. I don't know if I'm logged into GitHub. So keyboard accessibility works well. I can tab through. So they're training me on it. Um, it's consistent. Uh, there's no skip button, but I can just continue, I think. I can tab to it. I can't turn that on, or I don't know what key it would work. I like that they're still calling it Twitter. That's fine. Ah, it's gonna off though. They used to let you just go through and do that via API, but I know they've cracked down on that, so maybe it's not possible anymore. Tell your team, learn your keyboard shortcuts, integrate. They didn't prompt me to integrate with um, Slack, but that's okay. Explore the features and create issues by pressing C when you're in the app. All right. Okay. To do, done. So if I push C, C is gonna let me open a new issue, so. Got due dates over here, I think. Three ways to navigate, command line, keyboard, or mouse. 
most powerful feature search or take action in the app okay so I clicked on the date and it actually opened up what would be the task detail view so I can assign it to somebody like myself can add a label and I can have okay so I can add different projects so they've taken the idea of tasks exists within a project out of it so I can have multiple projects and manage my tasks separately and associate them however they want which is actually a huge pain point for project and product managers alike um, because there is overlap sometimes and, and it helps to be able to have that flexibility in terms of relevancy so it's already got issues it's got a view for active issues it's got a backlog and if you didn't notice, you can go to a board view, which is cool. So if I then, uh, so this is the content of the ticket. So you almost have like a full content editing space for this instead of the kind of comment and multi-structured ticket that's in there. So it is in to do, if I move it to in progress, And go back to active so if you notice on hover to go to active issues with G GA I'm already here is assigned to so if I go to inbox these are nice keyboard shortcuts and they give you those tips with tool tips and hovering so G and then M so G is like go to which is easy to remember, and then A would be active, M would be my issues. Um, and that's a nice view. Not all project management tools make it easy to just see like what issues are assigned to me across all projects right now. So that kind of makes it really helpful for agencies or organizations that are running a lot of different projects. Um, import issues is nice, invite people, link your GitHub. And I'm guessing if I was a developer and I link GitHub, it would have a nice integration here because they're, so far everything's pretty thoughtful. Um let's see. Milestones. Do something like this. project lead, project status, so planned is the status of the project itself, start date, target date, create project. Very cool. Okay, so they just drop you in, they let you explore, their UI does most of the education, which is pretty neat. Um, So you can add, and they have documents in here to go with the issues. So I could go down a rabbit hole with this. We don't have to do the whole thing because it's supposed to be focused on onboarding. Um, obviously, is the name of the video series, but I would say in terms of this platform being really convenient, one thing that they do really well that a lot of products miss out on is they introduce features, content, whatever, as they're relevant. So they let users kind of play and find their way through they're not pulling my attention away from the things that I'm exploring. They're letting me explore, but they're introducing not too many things, but a couple of things at a time. So new issue, they keep highlighting, right? That's kind of your activation. If you get issues in here, obviously they know you're tracking something and you're more likely to use it because you're putting time into setup. Documentation is a secondary one in here, but there are product managers who are going to start with documentation and then want to generate the uh, issues from there. So let's say, um, something like this I wonder so there I don't know if you saw that I did the slash for keyboard shortcut um, to put a table in there or and that'll open up your selection for any components also just the subtle design features that are in here like right now I'm used to in confluence you tap I have a trackpad so two fingers or your right click you have to click on the right area to add a new column underneath 
Um, and there was something I was messing with the other day, the resourcing tool we have. It's like you use the mouse, but you hover over. It has to be on the line in between two bars or something like that to be able to do a certain feature or a certain action. Um, they just have the plus and minus on either side. So story, let's say description, blah, let's see. Issue from template. I'm wondering if you can create an issue from the table, but I guess I don't have that much content in there. Maybe not. Maybe that's missing, but it was a good thought. That would be pretty awesome if it did. Anyway, so the I, I get hesitant about dropping users in dashboards sometimes because they can be overwhelming of trying to figure out where you're going. But because of the way they have this navigation out set up, and because of all the keyboard shortcuts and the way to just figure out where you're going. Um, look, copy the link to the documentation you're working on. Provider, code block, checklist, just basic content elements. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this product is really well designed. Um, onboarding was super smooth, so they know their audience. Uh, I would say having been a project manager and a product manager I, I can't imagine very many people would struggle finding their way around here and getting a project set up. So kudos to the linear team. Uh, very short onboarding process, very solid design, easy to use. Um, yeah, I wish I was using this for my projects. <laughs>